Okay, so in our previous video we attached our, um, well we added our new employee Hamish Jones into the system. We can see him here. Remember we gave him the role of manager. A manager role allows him different user rights when he accesses the solution to perform his duties. Um, just confirming or repeating, a manager has full access to all of the functions throughout the solution to add jobs, maintain jobs, generate invoices, generate payroll. But a recruiter does not. A recruiter has access to do the, do the job management, to source candidates, to manage candidates, manage jobs, schedule candidates, etc. But a recruiter does not get access to the finance menu. The finance menu, which we have here, of course, is where you can, as I repeat, generate your invoices, generate your payroll, generate margin reports and view financial um, performance. Now, you'll recall also that we have the concept of the structure, and I'll come back to that in a minute, and the structure is the reporting relationships. And we determine the reporting relationships by the employee's appointment. So we need to create an employee appointment for Hamish because he's an internal employee. So we come to the right-hand menu, we view our appointments. It looks like this team member doesn't have one, so we add an appointment for Hamish. And we select here what his position is going to be. So let's say that he's a sourcing agent. Probably a little inconsistent that we're giving him a manager role, which means he can see the finance menu, but he's actually employed as a sourcing agent. But at the end of the day, there's no restrictions. It's simply how you set the system up. So we'll say that he started on the 1st of July. He's a full-time employee of your business. And then we select the manager. Now, normally, you, you know, you notice here we've got three managers to select from. That's because when we set up the organisational structure, and I'll pop to that when I've finished, just to repeat that, but when we set up the organisational structure and the reporting relationships, we said that the Maruchidor sourcing agent was to be managed by the Maruchidor recruiter. But because we've got three Maruchidor recruiters defined with appointments in the solution, we then need to check, well, check decide here which of those Maruchidor recruiters are going to manage Hamish. So we'll say that James Foster is going to manage him. Work patterns and leaving reasons are a topic for another day. Um, what we're doing here is talking about reporting relationships and we can maintain it here. I would say that we do have the concept of the default appointment because sometimes in some businesses you may have somebody job sharing, you may have somebody who performs two different jobs in your business and depending on the job they're doing they may have a different manager. But let's keep it simple for this moment. Hamish is employed as the Maruchidor sourcing agent. Hamish is going to report to James Foster. So we'll save our record. So now we've got that. Now notice also the concept of an end date, because maybe what happens in the future is Hamish moves from being a sourcing agent to being a recruiter or a different role in the business. We end date the current appointment and we add another one. And that's how we can manage the appointment history of somebody who works and grows with your recruitment business over time. So now we've got our, our organization and I can just jump back to our organization here. And if we look into our structure here, we can see that we've got James, you know, Jane Smarten, Edward Paul, and now James Foster has Hamish Jones reporting to him. So there you are. We've now gone through the process in this little set of videos. We defined our organizational structure, worksite and a position management, our reporting relationships. We've shown you in the previous video how to add your new employees into your recruitment business. And now we can see how we assign them to their various appointments and how that is then used to place them in the appropriate uh, position in your reporting relationship and organizational structure. So remember again, just to recap, we, we employed Hamish Jones as a sourcing agent Hamish Jones is reporting to James Foster because we set up his position to do that. And that was ultimately determined by this reporting relationship that we defined here. Um, hopefully that explains it and you can now go ahead and create all of your um, internal employees and reporting relationships for your recruitment business going forward. Thank you very much.